Hello, everybody. Welcome to Black Blockchain Consultants. I'm Cherie. Welcome to a little news you can use on the block. Um, at BBC, we are all about the business of blockchain. So if you want a blockchain job, you want to start a blockchain-based businesses, business, sorry, if you want to invest in the blockchain, whether you're investing time or money into a project, or and you want to help uh, get generational wealth from the 3.1 trillion dollar industry, that is what BBC and Black Blockchain Consultants is all about. So I've got three news stories for you, Lickety Split. Um, two of them are, you know, regular news stories. And the third one I thought was kind of fun. Actually, two are fun and one is, you know, a little bit more serious. So let's uh, share the screen here and talk about our first story here. There is a company called Core Scientific that is buying over 17,000 Bitcoin mining rigs. They're buying them from China. And uh, this stands to be the biggest lar or largest amount of S19 machines to be bought at any one single time by a one single hosting company. According to Core Scientific, they are buying it for their own purposes, as well as on behalf of third party clients. So Core Scientific has received and begun testing the first of Bitmain's newest ASIC miners and has seen material success in increasing existing hash rate to achieve the 110 um, terahash per second plus or minus three percent. So for them to be buying so many miners, this is probably going to be a lot of money. We know that Bitcoin just halved. However, what they're saying here is their uh, chief customer officer, Russell, is saying here, our view is that the rise in interest and increase in capital allocation and investment can be attributed to the growing acceptance of crypto and or digital assets as an investment asset class, as well as the favorable investing characteristics of North America. So again, this group making a big purchase with Bitcoin mining rigs. Okay, second, a little bit more of a fun story all about Dragon Chain. They are hosting something called Probably Fair, and they are hosting this with a $50,000 prize. Now, what is Probably Fair? The firm has developed a blockchain-based contest system that allows participants to verify its fairness. It can be used for lotteries, raffles, sweepstakes, and contests of skill. The firm plans to demonstrate the system in a contest with the $50,000 prize as part of the upcoming open source money documentary series about block, sorry, about Dragon Chain that airs on the Discovery Science channel on July 4th. For the selection process, this is according to their CEO, the system uses future hashes of a predefined block height of Bitcoin or Ethereum. The combined hashes are used to select the winner based on an algorithm. It is not possible to know the hash of a block height or any one blockchain, thus making it nearly impossible to profitably game the system. Roets claims that the on-chain transparency of the process allows users to verify whether the contest is fair and the results accurate. So we can see this um, being used with a lot of different contests, lotteries, sweepstakes, etc. So I think this is a fun story and it's something that you may want to follow. Final story is really fun. All of my Trekkies out there, uh, William Shatner is exploring the world of blockchain with digital trading cards. But this is a lot bigger than just digital trading cards. So William Shatner, AKA Captain Kirk, is crossing into a new frontier with the release of trading cards on Wax blockchain. Collectors can buy a pack of digital trading cards that features photographs from his personal life, his movie career, and his television career. The pictures include a photo of him hugging the late Leonard Nimoy, who played Spock, 
and even a dental x-ray. Each card has a caption written by Shatner. So of course we're starting off with William Shatner. However, this could be used for a number of different, you know, movies, sports teams, athletes, uh, you know, musicians, etc. Um, so this can have huge, huge ripple effects. The Wax blockchain records a card's ownership records and trading history and includes information like product specifications for each card, including the data it was created, its rarity, images of the cards, and proof of authenticity, comprehensive ownership records that show who traded the card and when, and complete trade and sale history, including how much money was paid for the cards and when. Fake memorabilia is a huge market. The biggest uh, or most recent we've seen is all the fake signatures of Kobe Bryant. Collectors can use an authentication service to verify the provenance and authenticity of an item before buying it. But there is still a lot of fraud in the card industry. So this company, this Wax blockchain, is using their blockchain system to stop this kind of fraud and allow collectors to trade digital or physical items instantly and securely. The company has supported the trade of more than $100 million of digital items since 2017. So again, those are our big news stories for uh, today. And if you want, please consider becoming a member of Black Blockchain Consultants. We talk about the business of blockchain. We talk about how to get your first blockchain job, start blockchain-based businesses. We are currently doing a lot of work around smart contracts right now, tokenization of assets. We have people starting uh, healthcare companies around blockchain and real estate companies around blockchain and all sorts of industries that are out there. If you want to participate, come join us. Blockchainstudies.tech, you're able to become a member, take our Blockchain 101 class, take all sorts of classes and join our community. Okay, God bless you. Have a great day.